Welcome to WARN, today's world news headlines are. Plan to raise air squadron strength in IAF to 42 within a year, Marshall. The Indian Air Force has a depleted strength of 33 air squadrons but it is likely to be expanded to 42 after a year or so, according to Air Officer Commanding in, Chief Training Command, Air Marshal S. R. K. Nair. He told reporters here that the depletion had been there for a while but now efforts were on to increase it to 42 air squadrons. The IAF's decline in squadron strength was criticized by a parliament standing committee recently. A report has said that India required 42 air squadrons to counter a two-front collusive threat. The parliamentary panel has found that the gap between retirement of fighter aircraft after completion of their total shelf life far exceeded the rate of replacements. IAF has started inducting Sukhoi, 30S and the squadron is operational from Tanjavur Air Base. MiG, 29K repair facility at Inshansa. A maintenance repair and overhaul facility will be set up at Inshansa over the next few years to maintain the MiG 29K fighter aircraft based on the aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya and at Inshansa. The intermediate repair facility for the RD-33 MK engines powering the MiG-29K aircraft will be built at a cost of Rs 200 to 300 crore, Ministry of Defense officials said. A few days earlier, the Defense Acquisition Council DAC, cleared the project and gave the nod for the repair facility to be built at the Dabolam-based naval base. The repair facility will be built in place of the current Sea Harrier MRO. With the phasing out of the Sea Harriers and the induction of the MiG-29K fighters we need a facility for the engines, since these aircraft will be in service for the next couple of decades. Engine maintenance is critical and we are miles away from any repair facility, a senior Indian Navy official said. A controller and auditor general report had found that since induction the aircraft were inducted in February 2010, 62% of the engines had faced critical issues due to design-related defects. The report also found that the serviceability of the warplanes was low, ranging from 21.30% to 47.14%. Infobox content, 45 MiG-29K aircraft ordered for Indian Navy for $2.2 billion, Navy has two squadrons operating MiG-29K aircraft, Black Panthers and White Tigers, MiG-29K-KUB fighter aircraft are capable of short takeoff but arrested recovery, the aircraft has two RD-33MK engines, Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG will station a team of experts at Inshansa, the MRO will be set up in place of the Sea Harrier repair facility. India investing heavily to develop indigenous unmanned combat systems. India is investing in developing unmanned vehicles as it prepares for an approaching era of soldier-less battlefields despite the current void in policies governing how they will be used. Government-run labs of the DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, and National Aeronautics Limited, along with state-owned defense manufacturer Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, are working on several drone projects, starting with vehicles that weigh under 1 kg to Rustam 2, which will have a payload capacity of 350 kg. The DRDO is putting together a policy document for the year 2020 as well as a more advanced one for 2025, which has laid emphasis on building the country's drone capabilities. We have good capability in terms of software and several foreign companies are coming in, which means production capabilities are bound to get developed. Why can't we put the two together and create UAVs for the air, ground and underwater said S. Christopher, chairman of the DRDO, recently. According to BUSINESS-STANDARD.com, the DRDO is working on a series of unmanned vehicles including unmanned combat aircraft, or UCAV, which will be powered by the homegrown Kaveri engine. We will touch 60 percenter indigenous content Indiana the tenure of this government. If there's one thing Defense Minister Manohar Parikar is cherry about speaking of, it is his past as a small entrepreneur and potential supplier to the DRDO in the mid-90s. South Block lore has it that the metallurgical engineer from the IIT Bombay class of 1978 designed and developed a hydraulic component for use in the DRDO-designed Sarvetra bridge-laying tank. 
The product passed the test, but for some reason his firm never got the order. Harikar refuses to discuss the past and insists times have changed, indigenous partners are now always part of DRDO projects. In this interview at his South Block office, he tells executive editor Sandy Punathan how he is pushing hard on indigenization by institutionalizing change in the ministry and admits to there being mindset issues. International Terror Finance Watchdog gives Pakistan 90 days notice to act or face action International Terror Finance Watchdog, the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, has virtually put Pakistan on a three-month notice to demonstrate that it has blocked financial routes of Jamaat Udidawa, Jayashi Mohammed and their affiliates. The fallout of non-compliance will be serious for Pakistan, which runs the risk of being placed in the category of jurisdictions with serious deficiencies in adhering to global standards on combating terror finance and check money laundering. The FATF, which held its plenary in Paris last week, has a process of issuing public statements on countries with deficiencies, making them untrustworthy, almost a virtual no-go in the international financial system. Pakistan has had to rally hard to even get these 90 days of breathing space at the just-concluded FATF meet in Paris. The actions against Judd, Jem and its front Fala Ayansani Yat, in January last week were a start to a series of efforts to convince the FATF that it was serious in its actions. This culminated in putting Judd founder Hafiz Mohammed Saeed on a travel ban list and in-house arrest by January 31st. Submarine Sindh Hurek Shack to be decommissioned before rains. Indian Navy submarine Sindh Hurek Shack will be decommissioned from the fleet before monsoon this year and Insvirate will be decommissioned on March 6, Vice Admiral Girish Luther told the media on Monday. The two, 300, ton submarine had sunk after torpedoes exploded inside the armament compartment while it was anchored at naval dock for refitting on August 14, 2013, killing 18 Navy personnel. A year later, the 16-year-old submarine was airlifted and anchored at South Backwater in the naval dock following salvage operations by Resolve Marine India Limited for about Rs 240 crore. India had bought in Sindh Hurek Shack in 1997 for $113 million and later upgraded it for $156 million, around Rs 800 crore. On the recent Insbitwe mishap, Vice Admiral Luthera said it be possibly due to human error combined with technical problem. On December 6, 2015, the frigate had tipped over to her left while undocking, killing two sailors. Insbitwe, which was set upright last week, will be operational and join the fleet by April 2018. More IAF radar sites likely in Tamil Nadu. There is a lot more in store for Tamil Nadu on the Air Force front was the message conveyed here this morning. Making the point, Air Officer Commanding-in-Chief, Training Command, SRK Nair said the Sukhoi Squadron Air Base would be established in about two to three years. He was addressing media persons today after briefing about President Pranab Mukherjee's visit to the Tambaram Air Force Station on March 3. Currently, we are in the process of acquiring Sequoia aircraft, once we have them in good numbers the base will be ready, he said. He also said chances of establishing many more airbases in Tamil Nadu were less likely as there were already enough of them here. The presence of airbases at Solar, Arakanam, Tambaram was enough to cater to the needs here, he said, and added that they were looking towards establishing radar sites in the state. Indo-Nepal joint military exercise from March 7. India and Nepal will undertake joint military exercises under Surya Kiran in the mountainous terrains here from March 7, an army spokesman said today. The special exercise will be attended by 350 army personnel each from Nepal and India the spokesman from the Army's Panchchul Brigade said. Combating insurgency in mountainous regions by running counter-insurgency operations will be the main theme of Surya Kiran 11 as most of Nepal is mountains and India has crucial borders with other countries in such terrain, he said. The exercise being hosted by the Panchchul Brigade of the Indian Army will be inaugurated by Brigadier M. K. Khadiyar and the concluding ceremony will be solemnized by major generals from both the armies, the spokesman said. 
personnel of the Nepal Army will reach on March 6 and will leave on MARCH 21, a day after the conclusion of the joint exercise, he said. China's homemade Wing Lung 2 male UAS takes to the sky China's home-developed Wing Lung 2, the new reconnaissance and strike multi-role endurance unmanned aircraft system, UAS, successfully completed its maiden flight Monday, February 27, 2017. With a more than 20-meter wingspan, the yellow Wing Lung 2 No. 01 made its appearance on the runway of a highland airfield in western China at noon Monday, before conducting a 31-minute flight. Leonardo delivered the first Italian Navy NH-90 mid-tactical transport helicopter. Leonardo delivered in January the first NH-90 mid, maritime Italian Navy tactical transport, helicopter to the Italian Navy. The aircraft was designated Marshall Islands, 90 by its operator. The handover was performed during an official ceremony held at Looney Naval Base in the presence of representatives and dignitaries from the Italian Navy and industry. GA forms industry team for Australia's Project Air 7003 requirement. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Inc., GAASI, a leading manufacturer of remotely piloted aircraft, RPA, systems, radars, and electro-optic and related mission system solutions, today announced the official launch of its Team Reaper Australia solution to the Project Air 7003 requirement, together with Australian teammates Cobham, CAE Australia, Raytheon Australia, and Flight Data Systems. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.